was a small one small trout that we hooked using the gulp night crawler now i'm trying to reel this trout in and use my phone to record because i left my gopro there at the house let me see if i can switch this up a little bit but anyway you get the gist i floated eggs pyre bait and a rooster tail down through there or a joe fly excuse me and no bites i used this gulp worm and on the first cast we got him so i just wanted to show you the results of it and how much confidence i have in these gulp products so i'm gonna get him in and throw him back we'll show you a picture of him hey guys brian here i'm up here on the uh, cranberry river and uh, i'm gonna head home i fished for about an hour and a half i've caught four trout and i want to show you what i used to catch them on because i everybody i've talked to is not having any luck i talked to several people that was above the gate that hadn't done any good when i first got here i wasn't doing any good i was using uh, shrimp eggs i used some orange pyre bait you know wasn't even getting a bite so anyway I want to show you the reason I'm making this video is because I want to show you something that every trout fisherman needs to have in their krill. And so if you don't have this, I'm recommending that you go to Walmart or some bait shop and get these because there are times and I'm not going to act like every time you use this, you're going to catch trout. It's like any other bait. There's going to be times fish aren't biting it. But there are times when I cannot catch trout on anything else, but I catch them on these. And that is gulp night crawlers. That's what I call them. Gulp worms, gulp night crawlers. And that's what they look like. They look like a piece of a night crawler. Um, I was able to catch four trout very quickly using these when nothing else would work. Now, I want to show you something else. When I fish with these, I use a long shanked hook. And it's the only time I use a long shanked hook. I don't like, I, I'm not a fan of long shanked hooks. I don't recommend them for trout fishing. Other than if you're using them with gulp worms or gulp minnows. And what I do is I take that worm and I put it on that long shank and I cover that hook. And I have the actual hook part coming out the where the worm's hind end would be. So that way, when that trout bites on the back part of that worm, they're not just biting on the worm and missing. They're hitting the hook. And you can set the hook on them pretty good. So anyway, just want to make a quick video. Many of you already know about this. You already use it. But there's no doubt in my mind that there's somebody out there tonight that's watching this video. You've never tried them. You've never used them. And I caught four trout. I'll show the pictures of them here in a minute. I only have pictures of three of them. One of them, when I went to get take its picture, it got all fought back in the water and I was unable to get a picture. But I caught four rainbows. And if you'll watch my video back in October of 2022 during the fall trout stocking, I caught a 23 inch five pound rainbow at Williams River. That's what I caught it on. I caught it on that, uh, on that gulp uh, worm. So anyway, uh, we'll get out of here, head back to Hurricane. I uh, wish you the best of luck. If you, if you try these and you get any bites or catch any fish, hit, uh, put a message there on the video. I'd like to hear from you. I'd like to hear uh, what kind of luck you have with them, but I highly recommend them. Get your three or four packs, throw them in your krill. If you end up not using them uh, during uh, trout fishing, they're, they're great for uh, smallmouth as well. About anything will hit them. Bluegill, crappie, uh, bass, you can catch anything on them. But uh, definitely try them out in the trout stream. Let me know how you do. Good luck, everybody.